Hey, what's up, you guys? Sumar Steve's 99 here, and today, um, as you guys know, uh, today was Black Friday, and uh, as for that, I went Black Friday shopping for new video games, guys. For the games I got, uh, I actually happened to get five, but I got four physically and one digitally, actually. So for that, you want to know what it is, guys? So I got this. First up, it we got is Super Mario Strikers for Nintendo Switch, and uh. As for this, guys, we got everything for this. Uh, I got this game for uh, 40 bucks at Walmart. It was on Black Friday from Nintendo of America. Although there are other Switch games that they were selling on Black Friday, like Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Super Mario Odyssey, Luigi's Mansion 3. Heck, even Kirby's Return of Dreamland Deluxe. Yeah, they brought it back, guys. Yeah, and this game has everyone 10 plus, and then there's... Spanish translation, which is todos más de diez. That's everyone turning up. Of course, you got Battle Soccer is back. Yeah, guys. It's been around like 16 years since the last game came out for Mario Strikers Battle League, or known as Mario Strikers Football, actually, in, outside North America. Of course, then comes to Regresan los Duelos de Fútbol, which is Battle Soccer is back in Spanish for Latin America. Of course, it has everything 1 to 8 players and even supports Nintendo Switch Online. Rated E10 for Age of Standing Up, which is Cartoon Violence and Comic Mischief. And then there's Todos, again, that's everyone 10 and up. There's Violencia de Caricatura, that's fan. Let's see, oh no, 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 Cartoon Violence in Spanish. And then there's also Travesuras Comicas, that's Comic Mischief in Spanish, yeah. I got this one here. And then there's also the next thing I got, guys, which is uh, uh, Dead Space for PlayStation 5. Uh, I got this for 40 bucks as well. And yeah, this is a really good game, guys. Of course, it has everything, like, developed by Motive, published by EA, uh, rated M for Mature 17+, plus, intense violence, blood and gore, and strong language, Ultra HD Blu-ray, Humanity, which ends here. Of course, Dead Space is a sci-fi horror series, guys. So it's like a pretty good game, actually. The next game I got is uh, The Last of Us Part 2. I got this game for uh, $20 at Walmart. Of course, I know from the first game, guys, I mean, like, I know the second game is, like, not worth buying. Although, however, IGN Howard gave this game a 10 out of 10, calling it a masterpiece. Yeah, one player, DualShock 4, 100 gigabytes, two discs. Of course, guys, if you didn't know, PlayStation 4, there are some games that have two discs. One being the data disc and one being the game disc. One example is Red Dead Redemption 2, which uh, it has one data disc and one game disc. Yeah. And then there's also a PS4 Pro Enhanced. This game plays at a higher resolution or higher frame rate in uh, PS4 Pro. Uh, Rated M for Mature has blood and gore, intense violence, nudity, single coming, strong language, use a drug, but who cares? Yeah, that's what Charlie from Charlie and Friends said back in SML, guys. You know, we're about to, to get Charlie and Friends a video game. He says, It's Rated M, it has blood and gore, intense violence, strong language, m m mature humor, nudity, strong language, use a drug, and alcohol, but who cares? Yeah, basically, <laughs> he was reading the content descriptors of GTA 5. Yeah. <laughs> And now, guys, comes the last game I got. Uh, well, the last physical game, but I actually have to show you my fourth game. This is the fourth game I got. Last game I got is digitally. So the next game I got is The Last of Us Part 1 for PS5. Now, this is actually a remake of the first game released back in 2013, which later got remastered on PlayStation 4 in 2014. Yeah. Experience the emotional storytelling and unforgettable characters in The Last of Us. 200 Game of the Year awards. Yeah. Rated M for Mature has blood and gore, intense violence, sexual themes, strong language, use of alcohol. Yeah. Of course, guys, this is kind of strange, you know, like, uh, Last of Us, for example, here. Can't forget, guys, I also got this for $40 as well. I can't forget about that as well. So this game, uh, which, uh, you know, you have this game released for PlayStation 3 back in 2013. Then it was later remastered labeled it as the last of us remastered for playstation 4 in 2014 i don't see it as a remaster it's more of a port and then it comes to this 
The Last of Us Part 1 being labeled as a... An, I think this was like an original game when I thought it was marketed, but I found out... No, 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 like... It's a remake of the original game. Yeah, can't believe it, guys. Remade for PlayStation 5. Yeah. Oh, and can't forget, I gotta show you guys my digital game that I got for uh, PS5 as well. So, uh... But show it to you about, like, right now. Oh, yeah, and so, guys, there you go. The game that I got digitally uh, on Black Friday here is Mortal Kombat 1. I got the premium edition. Uh, for retail, it was around, like, $110 for, you know, just when it was on uh, release, actually. But I got it for Black Friday, guys, for $76.49. Uh, That's... How much it is, uh, with that, uh, you know, the premium edition, which I get the coolest thing of all, which is the combat pack, which includes, uh, Omniman and also Tremor. Pretty much I get the characters that are mentioned in the DLC. It's gonna be really awesome, guys, when I play this. Oh, and I'm also about to get to unbox the games that I got on Black Friday physically, so, um, I'm about to head on to unbox them. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so the first game we're going to be unboxing is uh, Mario Strikers Battle League here. This is what I got on Black Friday. Again guys, I got it for uh, 40 bucks, And it was on Nintendo where they said uh, about Black Friday. You know, this is going to be on Black Friday for Nintendo. And yeah, you know, both physically and digitally actually. So let's get to opening it. That was fast. Crap. Oh, almost got it. Uh, almost got it. Almost got it. <sighs> got it. So let's see what's in this thing. Okay, so this is the background here. Ooh, nice. And then we got the cartridge here. Strikers Battle League or... Well, I mean, if you guys remember, it's called Mario Strikers Football... Outside of North America. Yeah. Let's see what it's got here. Yeah. Next up we got is... Uh, Last of Us Part 1. I got this for uh, 40 bucks as well. On Black Friday. Has everything, so let's get to opening it. There we go. Ah. Cuts us in the game case. Okay, we have the disc here and the art style. The disc is right here. Yep, has all of that. Next thing we got is Last of Us Part 2. I got this for 20 bucks on Black Friday, so let's get to opening it. Go, we got this crap. Yeah, so if you guys remember, there are two discs. So let's see what it's like. Okay. Just like from when I have Final Fantasy VII Remake and Red Dead Redemption 2, guys. Two discs. Look, it has both the... I forgot to mention. The... This is the data disc. This is the game disc. Yep. Now comes the last one, Dead Space. I got this for um, 40 bucks as well. I uh, like Last of Us Part 1 and Mario Strikers Battle League, so let's get to putting this in here. So, okay. There we go. We got the game here, Dead Space. 
Yep, CD. Yes, so let's try inserting them into the consoles to see what they are like. I mean, um, for these, however, despite being on CDs, it might take pretty much a long time. But uh, for this game, it might instantly be instantly in there. Or unless if I get an update, you know, for this. So, uh. Doesn't matter, we'll put this one in first, and for those, um, I don't know when they'll be finished downloading, so. Let's start with the Strikers Battle League. I just need to go grab my Switch. So we're about to see what it's like to put this game inside the Nintendo Switch. Alright guys, so, um, we're about to put the game Strikers Battle League inside the Switch, so let's see what it's like. I already took a game out. Sorry, that guys, the Joy Cons. We already got the Sumar RPG out, so um, if you guys remember the last video I made, Sumar RPG, um, I actually showed a bit of the game, so uh. If you actually want to see it again, uh, I'll put a link in the description below of the video. So let's put this game in. See what it's like. Strikers Battle League. So let's see if I can get a uh, Nintendo program. Might not be eligible anymore because it's expired. Yep. I know. Let's see if there's a software update. Yep, we got an update, guys, so... Oh, it's gonna take a while, guys. Let's see how much it'll take. Six minutes? Four minutes, three minutes? Man, this is gonna take a while, so... Might just speed this up for a moment. All right, it's finally finished updating. So let's try seeing how the game is like. It's loading. There you go. Oh yeah. Football. Everyone's here. Looks a bit more colorful on the OLED guys.
Oh my god, my boy Luigi, no! DK. <laughs> Oh, he dealed it with his hands. God, like, for what Donkey Kong was doing, that was like how back in 86, guys, when the World Cup was of Argentina versus England. Yeah, we got Battle League here. Let me share with others. Oh my god. The excited mentor. Footbot. Little training guys. So this is what Smart Strikers is like on Switch. When I got it for Black Friday guys. Although I couldn't get the points because it already expired. So yeah. Sorry about that guys. But anyways guys. Uh, about to show you the other games. Uh, Dead Space Last of Us Part 1 and 2 right there. Although it might take a while because they're CDs, so let's just get to them anyway. Three hours later. I guess so. It took me several hours or something like that. I don't know how to say it. To download these games, guys. To get them on my console there. Like, look. I already gotten Last of Us Part 1. Took me about like an hour or something. Dead Space, about like an hour as well. And the last one was part two. I had to use two CDs, the data disc and the game disc. One hour it took for me to get them downloaded. Mortal Kombat 1, it even took me like an hour as well to get them downloaded. Ooh! Yeah. I know. It was very tedious how long they took. Ooh! All right, guys, so uh, from my perspective of how I got uh, four games, well, technically five games, although I got one game digitally on Black Friday and four games physically, those which include uh, Super Mario Strikers, uh, also uh, Last of Us Part 2. Oh, can't forget Part 1 as well, the remake. Oh, and Dead Space as well. I mean, for... Uh, Mario Strikers, it was probably, uh, it loaded a bit much faster, like, when it comes to adding new game, actually, to it, it loaded a bit faster. But compared to these three, which includes Dead Space, Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2, these took a bit longer to load! One hour! Seriously! I mean, for Last of Us Part 2, I mean, it took a bit longer because it had two discs. I am repeating this to you. Two discs. The data and the game disc, which is in the console. Oh, oh my God. It was very tedious, you know, guys. Why? Just why? Sony, what were you thinking? <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I was just overreacting uh, over how I got uh, Last of Us Part 2, how it took a bit longer to load. <sighs> so, um, overall, um, these games were probably worth buying on Black Friday, actually. I got them at Walmart. If you guys remember the retail price for Mario Strikers, I got it for 40 bucks. Dead Space, I got this for 40 bucks as well. Last of Us Part 1, uh, the PS5 remake, 40 bucks, And, also can't forget, guys, Last of Us Part 2 for 20 bucks, And I mean, Mortal Kombat 1, I got it for uh, $77. So, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, uh, comment down below, like, to tell me, guys, which games did you get on Black Friday? Because, you know, I really like to know what you got on Black Friday. 
I mean, Sonic Rob already told me what he got on Black Friday. Uh, he got Sonic Superstars and Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, if you guys don't know who he is, he's a YouTuber who does, like, Sonic videos, you know? And live streams as well. I'll send a link to his channel in the description below. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, and also can't forget. Um, I've always wondered. To those who live outside of the U.S., do you guys have Black Fridays? Or do you have your own version of Black Friday? I know in Canada, you have something called Boxing Day, which is similar to Black Friday, but it's basically Black Friday after Christmas. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.